When it comes to scientific literature, not a lot of studies have been done to look at how fasting can be used to reduce dermatitis and other inflammatory skin conditions. However, within the past few years, many people who are suffering with inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema or topical steroid withdrawal have tried fasting and have actually had great results when it comes to healing their skin. You may be watching this video because you have heard of someone fasting and have had great results with it. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a controlled case study that was done in Japan where researchers showed that fasting for one day a week greatly improved the skin of a lady suffering from atopic dermatitis. So let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Larry. Welcome to Fighting Eczema. Fasting has become very popular over the past few years and new research comes out basically every year to support fasting for various different health conditions. When it comes to inflammatory skin conditions, fasting seems to have a couple of different benefits. Firstly, it seems to have an effect on the immune system being able to decrease inflammation. Secondly, fasting allows the body to focus on healing rather than digesting food. And if you didn't already know, skin conditions are often tied to the digestive system. Now, before we get into the study, we need to talk about the definition of fasting. The thing is, fasting can be defined in numerous different ways. The definition of fasting that you will see in the dictionary is to not eat anything at all and to only drink water. That is technically the true definition of fasting. However, other people's definitions of fasting may be different. For example, some people might say drinking black coffee or drinking herbal teas is fine when it comes to fasting. Others are against that. There is also juice fasting where you don't eat anything, but you can drink juices. And then you have different lengths of fasting. For example, intermittent fasting is a type of fasting where you can only eat during a certain time window. And then you have longer fasts such as three day fasts, which some people believe are absolutely necessary to maximize the benefits of fasting. The point I'm trying to make is that there are many different ways of fasting. And if you are going to try fasting, you will have to find the right type of fasting that will work specifically for you. Keep all of this in mind as we discuss how the lady in this study utilized fasting to heal her skin. The subject of this case study is a 23 year old female who suffered from atopic dermatitis ever since the age of three. She used corticosteroid medications long term starting at the age of three all the way until she was 17 years old. By the time she was 17 years old, the corticosteroid creams kind of stopped working and so she decided to stop using them. This is a classical case of topical steroid withdrawal and a lot of you might be going through a similar story. So she enrolls in this research trial where basically she is going to be fasting one day a week for 20 weeks. Now, this is where the discussion we had on the definition of fasting comes into play. During her one fasting day per week, she drank a special soup twice on that fasting day. The soup was basically a broth made from the following five things, water, dried seaweed, dried mushrooms, soy sauce, and sugar. Now, by dictionary definition, this is not true fasting, right? Because the broth that she's drinking is going to contain some small amount of calories. However, the researchers who are conducting this study have sort of defined fasting in their own way. Okay. So they're basically saying that since she's only drinking a liquid, she's not eating anything. The calorie intake is going to be under 200 calories. We are going to count this as fasting. Some of you now might be saying that the researchers definition of fasting does not match with your definition of fasting. And so this study, is invalid. And that's 100% reasonable to think that. Ultimately, it's going to be up to you to take the information that I'm giving you from this case study and to make your own conclusions. All right. So with that being said, let's keep going. So now we have a 23 year old female who on her fasting day, one day per week is going to be drinking a special soup broth twice on that day. She was also allowed unlimited water on her fasting day, as well as unlimited herbal persimmon tea, which honestly sounds pretty good. Also, shout out to my mom and dad who sent me fresh persimmons from uh, their persimmon tree back in BC. Beautiful, right? Anyways, no other changes were made to this lady's lifestyle. So no other diet changes, uh, no exercise changes, anything like that. She also did not use any medications such as corticosteroid creams for the entire study. Something called the SCORAD index was used to measure the patient's dermatitis severity. SCORAD stands for scoring atopic dermatitis. And really what you need to know is that the higher the score or number, the worse the dermatitis. So this graph here shows how her skin improved over the 20 weeks of the study. 
As you can see, in week one, her score ad index was about 48, which is very high. Think pretty much full body eczema or dermatitis. The white dots represent her skin the day before the weekly fast, and the black dots represent her skin the day after the fast. So looking at week one, before the fast, the index was 48. But then after the fast, the index dropped to 44, so that's an improvement. On week two, before the fast, the index was 46. And after the fast, the index dropped a lot, all the way down to 38. So that's a great improvement in her skin. Now on week three, you can see that before the fast, the index was 37. But then after the fast, the index was about 39. So this week, her skin actually got a bit worse after the fast. This happens a couple of times throughout the study, but remember, healing is not linear. Let's zoom out and take a look at the big picture. So her first ever score ad index was about 48, but now let's look at the index 20 weeks later. Her final score ad index recorded after her 20th fast was about 34. So overall, after 20 weeks, her score ad index was reduced from 48 to 34. I know it's difficult to wrap your head around the improvement since there are no pictures of her skin, but a score ad index decrease of 14 is quite an improvement. Technically, she would be classified as going from severe dermatitis to now moderate dermatitis. Now, imagine if she continued this protocol for another 20 weeks. Would her skin improve even further? We can't say for sure, but with this trend, it's definitely possible. At the end of the 20 weeks, the patient also lost 3.5 kilograms of weight, which is about 8 pounds. In this case, the patient had normal body weight both before and after the study, so it wasn't really a big deal for her. But if you are someone who is trying to lose weight, this study suggests that doing this one day per week of fasting type of protocol can be a great way to lose weight, um, which makes sense because you're not eating for one whole day a week, right? The patient also reported less daytime itchiness and improved sleep, which is great, right? Just Bonus improvements. So to summarize the results of this study, fasting for one day a week reduced the score ad index of a 23 year old female from 48 to 34 after 20 weeks, which is five months. So great improvement. Now, the thing we have to remember about this study is that it is a case study done on one single person, right? So just because this lady had results from the fasting doesn't mean that the same protocol will work on the next person. Maybe this protocol only works for 23 year old females, or maybe it was the special broth that she drank on her fasting day that was the actual key to healing her skin, or maybe it was the unlimited persimmon leaf herbal tea that she drank during that fasting day, right? We really can't say for sure. Ideally, we wanna see more studies done on the relationship between fasting and skin conditions before we make any conclusions. Now. Are we gonna be seeing more studies done on fasting and skin conditions? Maybe, but probably not. There are a few different reasons for this, but one of the biggest reasons is it's really hard to get people to agree to fast. For example, if you're suffering from an inflammatory skin condition and I came up to you and I said, hey, I don't want you to eat food for three days straight. You can only drink water for those three days. Um, it may or may not heal your skin. And I want you to come into my clinic every week for us to look at your skin, you know, you're probably gonna be like, this is way too much work, uh, I'm not interested, right? Now, for those of you who are thinking, I would love to participate in this type of study to potentially heal my skin condition, big respect to you, that is telling me that you're willing to put in the work, right? To beat the crap out of this skin condition. So keep up the good work. Anyways, another reason why we might not see a lot of research done on fasting and skin conditions is just because there are so many different types of fasting out there, right? How are we going to determine if intermittent fasting is the best type of fast, or maybe one day of fasting a week is the best, or maybe three days of fasting a month is the best, right? It's just too much comparison for us to be able to make any real conclusions. It's just going to take too much time and effort. At the end of it all, we have numerous people who are sharing their stories of how fasting helped them overcome their skin conditions. And to me, that's enough evidence to continue utilizing fasting with my patients. 
With that being said, if you're interested in trying fasting, I really recommend you work with a healthcare professional or a health coach or whoever who is knowledgeable in both fasting and inflammatory skin conditions. If you want to work with me, you can check out fightingeczema.com. I'd be happy to personalize a fasting plan for you and help monitor you throughout it. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video just to help it spread to others who might be suffering from inflammatory skin conditions. Um, I do think that fasting is an underrated and underutilized tool when it comes to naturally healing skin conditions. So hopefully this can help um, a majority of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to continue to learn about how to heal your skin, you can check out the video that has just popped up on your screen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.